Hello everybody. So after my last video on um, the robot Longworth robot gripper uh, thing, um, uh, a, a follower, um, Phil, on Twitter um, asked me how I'd gone about importing an SVG uh, into FreeCAD as the basic sort of uh, drawing to uh, model the geometry of the, um, the, the project off. Um, so this video is going to kind of show how I've done that from um, Inkscape to uh, FreeCAD. I have to say though, there's a caveat with this video that uh, the only reason that I did it was because it was quite a complicated um, thing to draw up in Inkscape. Um, and I wasn't prepared to put the work in at the time to redraw it all again in FreeCAD. Um, so it was sort of necessity being the mother of invention that led me to do that. And your mileage with this will vary. So wherever possible, I would say it's way, way better to um, draw stuff using the sketcher tools in FreeCAD if you can. That said, it can occasionally be a useful little process. So um, I've just quickly uh, brought up um, Inkscape and just roughly drawn a little uh, thing. I, yes, some shapes. So there's a little unioned path here made out of a few rectangles. I a couple of squares within it. I mean, this would be quite trivial to draw in um, in in uh, FreeCAD. Um, so it's just for an example, really. So I've saved it, and I've just saved it as a... Uh, oh, despite the file name, I'm actually just... I think I've just saved it as a regular um, Inkscape. Yeah, an Inkscape SVG. I've just saved it to my uh, desktop. There we go. We'll save it again. Okay, so then if we open up FreeCAD... Um, and start a new project. It'll jump us into the uh, the regular kind of start workbench um, with, with not very many tools. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go file and import and try and import that SVG which I saved on my desktop. Gosh, this computer's a mess. Uh, there we go, it was that one. Okay, so it asks you whether you want to uh, import it as a drawing or the SVG as a geometry, so we want to import it as a uh, geometry. And there we go. So you can see there we've got our drawing uh, is in. But, um, and it sort of brought it in as like sort of all individual paths, and it's jumped it into sort of three parts, which kind of makes sense actually in this in this context. Um, so there's, there's a part which is the uh, outside path, and then one part each for the uh, internal path. So you can, because these are parts, you might think, so say you wanted to um, extrude this object, uh, you might jump over to the uh, part workbench, full of excitement, and you might select the uh, uh, outside line and you might pad it to, ex to extrude it. So we'll just do that. So there we go. So it's extruded, which you know may or may not be used to, uh, uh, of use to you. But I, I guess if you drawn drawn this, there's there's a high chance that you might. I'll just control Z to undo do that. There's a high chance if you drawn this like this that you might have wanted these two internal squares to be um, uh, you know extruded uh, uh, the, the the holes in in the object, perhaps. Um, so it doesn't quite behave as a sketch would uh, within FreeCAD if you'd drawn it up in FreeCAD due to the fact that they're all kind of separate. So you can get around that. You can select all of the things that uh, it's you, you've imported. And if you go over to the draft workbench uh, here, and then you need to find this tool which is uh, sort of some blue squiggles over some red squiggles. <laughs> but that tool, uh, when you hover over it, says it converts bi-directionally between draft and sketch objects. So clicking that, you can see over here now that it's sort of duplicated these part paths, I'm going to call them, and it's created uh, a sketch for each one. So in fact, we can select these and turn the space, click the space bar to... Um, uh, make these go invisible. In fact, you could delete these now if you didn't need them further. Okay, so now we've got them as sketches. 
So we're closer, but they're still three separate sketches. So if if we selected that sketch and extruded it or padded it, it would it would be the same problem. We just have a sketch match on it, and so it 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 would be it doesn't again still doesn't behave like a contiguous sketch. So the final part, if you want all the objects to be in one sketch, is to select the sketches that you've just made. Go over to the Sketcher workbench, and then now I always forget this. It isn't a, a tool, uh, the icon that you're looking for, but you have to go to the Sketch drop-down menu and click Merge Sketches. Okay, so there we go. So now we have Sketch Three is essentially a, a merged collection of these. So if we uh, again use the spacebar to uh, make those not visible, this sketch, if we double click on it is now a sketch with all the items that we imported in it. You'll notice it has 76 degrees of freedom and that's because it's completely unconstrained. That doesn't mean that you can't do things with it. Um, uh, it just means that, like for example, you, 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 know, you, you haven't got all the sizes and dimensions and the positions of all these points in the sketch. You can, of course, click on the items and you can constrain it as you would another sketch. Um, absolutely fine. Uh, but now, if we go over with this sketch to the uh, part bench, now if we, for example, uh, extrude it and apply it, you can see that it extrudes in the way we would expect a, a, a sort of normal sketch that we've created in FreeCAD to, um, to work. So yeah, I hope that's useful for Phil, and I hope that's useful for other people. Um, and again, just to reiterate, this is not the best way to do this. The best way to do to to uh, uh, create sketches in FreeCAD is to use the FreeCAD tools, m m mainly because um, there are so that because you're going between two programs, there are some glitches that occur. I've had some problems with um, ellipses in Inkscape being brought into FreeCAD and not being in the right position and stuff like that. So it can work. It can be really useful, but wherever possible, I would say you're probably best off to do it in FreeCAD itself. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, take care.